What a cliffhanger. Now, before we start this video, obviously you clicked on it because you want to know more about the Sparrow Academy, but if you haven't seen season two, then this is a major spoiler. So, if you don't care about spoilers, I mean, I guess continue to watch, but if you do care about spoilers, go watch season two and then come back, trust me, it's worth it. For those of you dying to know more about the Sparrow Academy, this is the video for you, but first, we are doing a giveaway of Umbrella Academy Volume 1. To enter, follow us on Twitter, subscribe, and leave us a comment about your favorite moment from Season 2. Now, back to the Sparrow Academy. As we saw in the final seconds of Episode 10, the siblings have, yet again, made a major mistake involving the timeline. They come back to 2019 to see their father, Reginald Hargreaves, and their brother, Ben, alive, although Ben has no idea who they are. Additionally, there seems to be an entirely new group of superpowered individuals who have replaced them. The Umbrella Academy is no more, instead replaced by a new super team that Reginald refers to as the Sparrow Academy. One of the questions that has been left over and over and over and over again on our videos since we started making these was, do we ever get to see any other superpowered children? Well, now you have your answer. So how about a brief history lesson? In case you forgot, in the series as well as in the comics, 43 children were all born at the exact same time on the exact same day. What is interesting is that we never really get to see any of the other children. I mean, except for Lila. So where are the rest of them? Well, the comics hold the answer for us. So during the third arc of the Umbrella Academy comic book series, every villain the Umbrella Academy has ever defeated is released from a prison created by their father known as Hotel Oblivion. Obviously, the Academy can handle each one of these villains individually, but fighting dozens at a time proves to be a difficult task. Fortunately for our heroes, they are saved by another group of seven. We first learn of this team thanks to Mother, who introduces Vanya to Carla, a member of this new group. Carla is able to give Vanya the use of her legs back just by saying so, similar to how Allison's powers work, although Allison was unable to rumor Vanya into walking again, so Carla's powers may be even more potent. In case you don't know why Vanya is in a wheelchair to begin with, you should check out our video on her comic book origins. So, after meeting Carla, Vanya is taken to Norway, where Mother is waiting for her with the Sparrow Academy. Now, they are not explicitly called the Sparrow Academy in the comic books, but they do all wear a pin with a sparrow on it, so, I mean, do the math. It's pretty obvious that these are also children born on the same day as the Umbrella Academy members as well, so there's no telling how many Reginald did end up locating. The Sparrow Academy members then travel across the world and save the Umbrella Academy. Each one of the members of the Sparrow Academy is most likely labeled with a number, just like the Umbrella Academy. But their numbers don't continue from 7, so they aren't 8 through 14. No, they're actually labeled 1 through 7 as well. Number 1, like Luther, has super strength, and he's the only one that's actually numbered on panel in the comics. Another member of the team pukes a black laser beam from their mouth. We know it's puke because, I mean, it says wretch right there. The one in glasses and a trench coat can turn into a flock of birds, which I assume are sparrows. Carla's power, we already know, she can speak things into existence, just like Rumor. And the last member whose powers we see in action is basically like a human voodoo doll. Whatever injury they inflict upon themselves will also appear on their enemies. The final two, a floating green box and a muscular blonde woman, we don't see fight anyone, so at this point we are unsure of their powers. We see them all fly, but I think this is just a part of their tech, as the Umbrella Academy all had belts that allowed them to fly when they were children. And that's it! They appear in three issues, and then the arc ends. There haven't been any new comics since Hotel Oblivion that involved the Umbrella Academy or the Sparrow Academy, so for now, we're left wondering what's next. But we do have some solid theories about what happened in the show. For that, check out our Ending Explained video for Season 2. Thank you everyone for watching, we really do appreciate it. Remember to like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video, it does help us out. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter and leave a comment below so you can enter into the giveaway. And remember the motto, it's the Sparrow Academy over everything, and I'll see you guys next time.